is sponsored by Allianz Travel Insurance. So a sunrise uh, over the beach here in Outer Banks is really special. I highly recommend that you get up early for it. Um, it the conditions are just spectacular, so still and calm. The water's like glass. You have flocks of birds flying everywhere and dive bombing for fish. But the last two mornings have been dolphins, um, about 10 or more in a pod. And I've just been walking with them along the beach and there's one playful one like leaping out of the water. It's amazing. Alright, a thing to do in the Outer Banks is come to Jockey Ridge State Park. Now Jockey Ridge is the highest sand dune in the eastern part of the United States. It's about uh, up to 100 metres high and caused many years ago uh, by hurricanes and changing wind patterns. So there are two walks you can do here. One is one mile, one is one and a half mile. You are walking in sand so it's going to take you a little bit longer than normal. Sunsets are extremely popular here. The view is meant to be spectacular. Hopefully we can uh, make that happen. But the other thing to do, which we are very excited about, and it's a perfect place for it, because the Outer Banks is the place is the very first flight. Hang we gliding. are... Hang gliding. Hang gliding. How are you feeling? Mm, fine. She's a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. But we can see them in the distance and they're not going too high up. So it's going to be fun. We're going to learn how to do it at the hang gliding school and see how high up we can go. All right, let's go do this. Fun. Once you run, then your feet start to little, little slowly lift off the ground. It was like, <gasps> and then when you get off it, it feels like you have no, you're not attached to it, and you're just flying. Isn't it great? Really? Yeah. All right, hang gliding check, tiki bar check. Now we're cooling off at the ocean. Here is a family friendly beach. We're having fun in the waves, aren't we? Little baby waves. Let's go. So about an hour's drive south through the Cape Hatteras National Seashore. Uh, you arrive at the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse, a very popular thing to do in the Outer Banks area. It is the tallest lighthouse in uh, the US and said to be the second tallest brick lighthouse in the world. So it's really cool. And if you're up for it, you can climb up to the top of that lighthouse. Sadly, it's closed at the moment because of COVID. So we can't, we can just enjoy the grounds instead and enjoy looking at the lighthouse. It's a very iconic Outer Banks feature and very important it used to be uh, about a half a mile away from here closer to the beach and they they uh, moved it to this current position Santa Monica I see you and raise you a hundred you can take your pier never really gotten the fascination with Santa Monica pier this is Fish Heads Pier. This is a great pier. Probably our favorite pier we discovered in America. Guys, this is why we talked to the locals. Someone from Instagram told us to come to Fish Heads Bar and Grill. We wouldn't regret it. And we haven't. Our last night here in uh, OBX, and we've discovered our favorite thing. This is an awesome place to come. Locals hang out, great beer, shrimp, good prices and sometimes they have live music but you know it's COVID so not right now. Guys, happy hour between four and six at Fish Heads Bar and Grill. 15 cents shrimp, mile marker 18.5 at South Nags Head. Come and get some, they're pretty tasty and you can't beat 15 cents. 
Well, the Cape Hatteras National Seashore was the first national seashore in the country. It is 70 miles of um, ocean, sand dunes, the sound, maritime forest, even little uh, villages. And it's made up of three islands, Bodie Island, Ocracoke and Hatteras. Uh, so we've just been down to Hatteras. We want to come to Ocracoke another time. You have to get a ferry out there. And we're just checking out some of the beaches along here. So in this area, you're going to find those beaches that are a little bit more uh, rugged, unspoilt with fewer crowds. You can go forward driving on the beach, but you need a permit. You get it online and then print it off, but we didn't get ours because we didn't really have enough time and we didn't know. <laughs> We didn't travel with that from time on this trip. <laughs> yeah. That's other trips. <laughs> it would be really fun. Also, we could just drive around our, our car here. Because they're like tailgating with their cars and have their umbrellas up to the cars. Which is yeah. Cool. And we can some lights on the With the sound and the ocean uh, and the Outer Banks, you have loads of opportunity for stand-up paddle boarding. We've just taken our boards out of the beach at Corolla because the conditions here are a little calmer, although <laughs> fell off a couple of times. Haven't done that in a while because this is a bit of a swell out there, but it was loads of fun. Highly recommend it. I'm sure you can rent some paddle boards in the area if you don't have your own. beach vacation unless you can find yourself in a tiki hut with views of the ocean. We're at Mulligan's Bar and Grill and there's an inside seating area but we chose the tiki bar. I had the most delicious tuna to start a glass of wine after a fun day hang gliding and these magical views. We've discovered a great spot for breakfast as you come over the beach into the Nags Head area um, on the Sound is Fresh Fit Cafe and they have a delicious omelette. You can make your own they have pancakes, gluten free keto pancakes, smoothies and of course coffee. And you get beautiful uh, views over the Sound. It's so still and quiet here this morning. It's really a great spot for breakfast. I'm eating it now. Oh my gosh. Can you tell me what it is? It's donut. Donut Sunday, so there's donuts at the bottom and then there's ice cream and then cream. Oh my gosh, and where do we get this from? Donuts on a stick. Donuts on a stick. Oh my goodness. Taste and cards, not mine. And that will last you all the way home to Raleigh. All right, great finish to our time at OBX. We did some paddle boarding at Corolla. Had a delicious lunch at NC Coast in Duck. Enjoyed the Duck Boardwalk. Be sure to do that. Um, it's about a mile long and goes along the sound side through the town. And then finish it up with the ginormous donut ice creams from Donut on a Sticks. Don't miss it when you come to the OBX.